My name is Ryan Santos, and I'm the chef owner at Please. I was a sandwich artist at Subway uh, in, <laughs> when I was 16. Um, I can't say any of that relates to what I do now, but that was definitely my first foray in, into, into the culinary world. Yeah, if you can call it that, yeah. Um, if I wasn't working in the food industry, uh, I might be working in the wine industry, like growing, making wine, just because at the restaurant, wine and food have such a deep correlation and have, found, have fallen in love with the wine side as much as I have with the food. So uh, I think making wine would be a fun thing to do if I wasn't making food. Uh, the kind of re music we have on at the restaurant during service, it, it's sort of all over the place. It's anywhere from, you know, some n 90s indie rock to something that was that came out yesterday from a 16-year-old rapper to, you know, um, jazz to anything in between. Yeah, it's just all sort of a combination of the staff have all sort of contributed songs that sort of keep them moving a little bit and motivate them when they're working and enjoy. Uh, so it's sort of an eclectic mix of everybody's um, favorite songs. Um, a food trend that I think is sort of coming past this fermentation a little bit, and I was a big proponent of that, but I think it's sort of, it has its, it's never been the guiding light of what we do. I think it's become too much of a driving factor in some things and not always the most delicious. So I think it needs to find its balance right now between fermenting anything and fermenting things that are delicious.